All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a dotted or dashed outline around your text within DaVinci Resolve. I understand this is a little bit of a niche use case for video editing, but I think for certain types of advertising, especially if you're working on photos within DaVinci Resolve, it can actually be quite useful for printed media. So without further ado, let's take a quick look at what we're going to be building today. Alright, so to begin, I'm going to go under the toolbox, click on titles, and drag and drop the text plus into the timeline. From there, I'm just going to change the font to Cambria because I think that's going to work a little bit better and just show off the effect a little bit more and increase the size just so we can see that a little bit better as well. Now to actually add the dotted lines, we're going to click on the shading section change the element from one to two and click enable from there we're going to go under line style and click on dash or dot or whatever other ones you want to use for your project i personally think that dash looks the best but use whatever works for your particular project now in some cases we will want to do the outside only. Some fonts will also put it inside of the text as well. Cambria doesn't. So if you have to use that, it's right here. From there, I'm just going to drop down the line size a little bit because I think it is a little bit too big and I think that works a lot better. Now, if you wanted to change the color, we can do so here. If I wanted to make it blue, we can do that right there. And that's pretty much it. Now at the beginning, I did mention that we could work with photos in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to show you how you can export this as a transparent photo. So what I'm going to do is just bring this up to a second video track and then go under the toolbox, click on generators and click on solid color. From there, I'm just going to select the solid color and drop the opacity down to zero. That's going to make the background color transparent. From there, highlight both tracks and create a new compound clip. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is just go forward on my keyboard by pressing the right arrow just so we're one frame in, and then trim this down. So now we have a single frame that we're working with, and we can go to the Deliver tab to export that. Now I'm just gonna select the location because my computer doesn't do it automatically, and I'm going to change the render style to individual clips, and the format to a TIFF. The codec is fine for this particular image. Now we just have to make sure to click on this export alpha button because that is the one that's going to do the magic and transport the background as a transparent color. From there, I just add it to the render queue and click on start render. Now I'm just going to go back to the edit tab. And from here, I'm going to just find the particular file that I was working with. All right, so then I'm just going to drag that in and I'm going to create a new solid color background just so we can see that it is in fact going to be transparent. I'm going to pick this horrible orange color, but I'm still going to drag it in right there. And there we have it. You can see that the background is whatever color I want it to be, which means that it is in fact a transparent image. And there we have it. It's that easy to create that dashed or dotted effect around your text. So in case you did have a particular use case for that, if you're doing a flyer or a coupon or anything like that, again, you can edit photos in DaVinci Resolve and export them. So. It's a little bit of a Photoshop alternative, or if you have a very particular style of title that you're after for a video, 
it works there as well. And if this video was helpful at all, let me know in the comment section below, as well as letting me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I want to make content that you want to watch, so let me know what it is that you'd like to see. And if this was helpful at all, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel just so you don't miss out on any future content. And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Bye now.